In this video, we're talking about the second derivative test. And in this particular problem, we've been asked to use the second derivative test to find any extrema of the function. And we're talking about this function f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x plus 1. So as a reminder, the second derivative test tells us that if we find a critical point x equals c, and we plug that critical point into the second derivative such that we're evaluating f double prime of c, if we get a positive result or a result that's greater than zero, then that critical point C represents a local minimum of the function. If on the other hand we plug the critical point into the second derivative and we get a negative value, then that critical point represents a local maximum of the function. So obviously it's called the second derivative test because we're using the second derivative of the original function to test the critical points to see if they represent local minima or maxima. So our process is always going to be the same to use the second derivative to evaluate critical points. The first thing we're always going to do is find the first derivative of f of x. So the first derivative, of course, is going to be f prime of x, taking the derivative of the right-hand side term by term. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. The derivative of negative 3x is a negative 3. And the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of any constant is always 0. So we could say plus 0, but there would be no need because it wouldn't change the value here of this function. So this is going to be our first derivative. Now our next step is always going to be to find critical points, which we do by setting the first derivative equal to 0. So we say 0 equals 3x squared minus 3. We add 3 to both sides. We get 3 is equal to 3x squared. Dividing both sides by 3, we get 1 is equal to x squared. And then if we take the square root of both sides, we get x is equal to positive or negative 1. Because, of course, positive 1 could be the square root of 1, but negative 1 could also be the square root of 1. So x is equal to positive or negative 1. So these are our potential critical points. To use the second derivative test to see whether or not either of these critical points represents a local max or a local min, what we want to do is plug them into our second derivative. The first thing, therefore, we needed to do is find the second derivative. So we'll go ahead and say f double prime of x, the second derivative, will be the derivative of our first derivative. So we need to take the derivative of 3x squared minus 3, which will be 6x minus 0, or just 6x. So this is our second derivative. Now we need to plug in each of these critical points. So if we say f double prime of negative 1, we're going to get 6 times a negative 1, which is going to be negative 6. And we'll come back to that in a second. We also need to evaluate x equals positive 1. So we say f double prime of positive 1 would be 6 times a positive 1, which is going to be 6. So here we got negative 6, which is less than 0. That's a negative answer. Here we got positive 6, so that's greater than 0. That's a positive answer. So the second derivative test tells us that if we get a negative answer, an answer that's less than 0, then the critical point represents a local maximum. So we can say local maximum at x equals negative 1. If we get an answer that's positive, that's greater than 0, then the critical point represents a local minimum. So we can say local minimum at x equals positive 1. So in this particular case, the original function f of x has extrema at x equals negative 1 and at x equals positive 1. There's a local max at x equals negative 1 and a local minimum at x equals positive 1. And that's how you use the second derivative test to find extrema of a function.